Text expanders are one of the most underused productivity tools available right now. Given the amount we all type on our keyboards every day for work and our personal lives, it literally, okay, figuratively, blows my mind that more people aren't using these things to be more efficient in how they type. Today, I'm going to cover how to use a text expander the way the experts in productivity do, along with five expert tips to get your setup the right way. Tip one, pick the right text expander. Because right off the bat, you're going to want to make sure you use the right tool for text expansion. There are dozens of different options available on the market and they all range in feature functionality and price. I've included a link to a blog post with some of the top options available, but of course, I have to call out Magical as my number one choice because bias alert. I know, I know, this is the Magical YouTube channel. But if you're looking for a no-fuss text expander, Magical really should be your go-to. It's free, it's easy to use, and it works on both Windows and Mac. It also comes with a bunch of additional cool features that'll help you save time if you're big into data entry or filling out forms all the time. So Magical, can't highly recommend it enough. Tip number two, create a system for your text expansion trigger. The most common mistake I see when people start using a text expander for the first time is that they don't have any kind of system in place for their text expansion triggers. If you're not familiar with the term, a trigger is what you actually type in order to activate your text expansion shortcut. So for example, you might want to use the trigger TY to expand it to thank you. But if you do set it up that way, anytime you write a word with a TY at the end, like ratty, taddy, or batty, it's going to expand the word to say thank you at the end. That's no good. So what do you do about it? This is why it's good to create a system for your triggers that you won't type by accident. But it's also easy to remember. Brad, in the magical community, for example, says he always starts his shortcuts with a character he doesn't normally use, and then the first few letters of the phrase. So if he wants to expand text related to counting, he names the shortcut up arrow C-O-U. Whereas user Taylor is here does the same thing, but with semicolons before each shortcut. Super smart stuff, and it keeps you organized too. Tip number three, set up the most common text expansions. Now that you've got your text expander picked out, the first thing you'll want to do is set up the most common text expansions. These are the ones that almost everybody uses on a regular basis, so they'll give you a good starting point as you begin to get more familiar with how text expansion works. First, your email address. It's annoying to have to type it out all the time, isn't it? So set up your text expansion to auto-complete the email. You'll never have to type out gmail.com ever again. Second, common acronyms. You already use a ton of these anyway, so why not have BTW turn into by the way? TBH, AFAIK, IMO. Just maybe don't expand LOL to always say laughing out loud or people are gonna think you're being weird. Third, emojis and special characters. Emojis are easy enough to pull up on your phone, but they can be kind of annoying to add on a laptop keyboard. You can set up a text expander to automatically turn that colon parentheses into a smiley face. You can do the same thing for thumbs up or any of the other common ones you use. Finally, greetings and sign offs. You probably start and finish your emails in like one of three ways, so why not add a shortcut for these? Hi, first name. Cheers. Talk soon. You know, whatever floats your boat. Chances are you type these a lot, so if you can do it in less characters, then why not? You'll thank yourself later. Tip number four, audit what you copy and paste for work. While text expansion for your own personal use can be really great, where it really shines is for work. And of course, this will come down to what you do for a living, but if you're in an office or a work from home job, chances are there are a ton of things you copy and paste on a regular basis. I'm in marketing, for example, so I often have to send the same types of outreach messages to customers asking if they want to, you know, provide a quote or a testimonial. I also use it for laying out a template for my monthly reports and to quickly populate an agenda for a meeting with my manager. I even use the text expansion to write a video description for this YouTube video. Wild, right? A physician might be sick of typing out the word appointment all the time and they just want to type out APBT. A customer support person, they might be sick of typing out the same answer to a question over and over again. Spend some time thinking about what you type out more than once on a weekly basis and see if you can set up a text expansion shortcut for it. 
This is how you become so much more productive and start seeing some real time savings. The final tip I have for you is specific to Magical. Inside your shortcuts, you can set something up called variables, which are basically words or pieces of data you can change each time you use the message. This lets you instantly personalize your text expansion shortcuts like a game of Mad Libs. You can expand an entire email and then just plug in the relevant information like first name, company name, ticket number, etc. Using this method, you can send 50 personalized emails in five minutes. That's huge. So there you have it. I hope this video gives you some ideas on how to set up your text expander to get the best possible experience. And if you haven't already, I highly recommend you check out Magical. Not only does it expand text for you, it also slashes through your busy work by letting you teleport data between tabs and fill out spreadsheets in an instant. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until then, stay magical.